All right, today's class is on how to plant vegetable plants from seed. So what you can do at home today is just take whatever seeds you might have laying around in your seed packets and put them into small pots. Get them started. Don't worry about having your vegetable garden yet because a lot of times they take two to six weeks to transplant. So it's spring season here in Florida and we can plant a lot of vegetables right now, such as squash, tomatoes, mm, winter squash like pumpkins, collard greens, black-eyed peas, green beans. Now usually the larger seeds we plant directly into the soil, so we're not going to do these black-eyed peas today. Instead we're going to focus on the smaller seeds that do well in pots. So here's an example here of a pepper plant that was grown from seed and is now ready to transplant this is two months later into your garden then it will start flowering and fruiting soon so just get whatever kind of pots that you have these little cell pack are good to start seeds small pots like this are also good you don't want to use anything like larger than a one gallon container, but one gallon containers are fine too. And then for your soil, here I just have a blend of old potting mix, whatever compost, whatever I could find around the house, um, plants that have died in the past. I just dump the soil back in here and recycle it. You can even use garden soil if you don't have anything else. So some squash seeds. We can plant a couple of these per pot. Here's the pot, and I usually do uh, three seeds and just tuck them in there. And I usually do kind of like a bowling ball, three fingers apart. Three seeds right in there. And then I'll put a label in there. Just pat them down a little bit fill up the pot pretty well with soil and uh, I made these labels from an old to-go container or you can use uh, yogurt cups also work really well and just write on it with a sharpie so here I have my squash and I'll just plant as many pots of this as I can um, let's do some tomatoes so tomatoes are slow to grow so plant them in the smaller cell packs and then as they grow you can bump them up so when dealing with small seeds I just use a little pencil and I'll poke a little hole and the general rule of thumb is however big the seed is plant it twice as deep so here um, these are kind of old seeds so I'm just gonna plant about two seeds per hole right like that two seeds per hole. If you have a lot of extra flats in potting mix, you could just go one seed per hole. If they're really old seeds, you could plant um, three or more seeds per hole. So after I have these planted, I'm just gonna cover them up, pat them down, put my little label in here, tomatoes. All right, let's do some radishes. Radishes grow extremely quick. You can plant the seed and get a radish harvest in about 30 days. So these are larger seeds. I'm just gonna plant them in these pots to get them started. I might try a couple seeds in here. Voila, cover it up and then water it and see what grows. Once you get some plants established like these, then they'll be ready to plant in a bigger pot or in your garden. But the key is to planting the seeds in small pots, put them in the shade, water them daily, keep them wet, and then you'll see your seeds sprout and hopefully you have something. Um, Here's some papaya seeds that I planted about mm, three months ago. And so they're now getting big. They're about six inches tall. 
and they'll be ready to plant in the ground any day now. So all these papaya seeds I just saved from my papaya tree. So that's how you can close the loop. Save the seeds from whatever vegetables and fruits you can and put them in small little pots like this to get them started or in flats. Um, here's an example of an empty flat. If you have these available at home, this is a great way to start a lot of plants in a small space. You can just plant tomatoes in this row and then peppers here, eggplants, you can do some cucumbers, some squash. These are all things that are ready to plant right now in the spring season for Florida vegetable gardening. So thanks for tuning in and let me know if you have any questions about getting your vegetable garden seeds started at home. But this is the thing to do right now if you're at home to make sure you have some food for you and your family, easy to grow stuff that you'll be able to eat soon. Thanks for tuning in.